Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Ideaspot, and today I'm back with another video in our e-commerce video series. So I've already covered talking about getting uh, web hosting and getting a domain name. And in my previous tutorials, I've talked about installing WordPress. So once you've done those three things, you've got your domain, you've got your hosting, you've installed WordPress, you're pretty much ready to go um, in starting your online business. So I'm going to cover a few different kinds of online business models. So you've got dropshipping, print on demand and affiliate blogging. Those are really three really popular business models that people like to use, especially when they're using a WordPress website. You can also look at um, selling ebooks and courses, and I might look at that a little bit further down the road. But if you want to make a dropshipping or print on demand or affiliate blogging site, then WordPress is a good platform to do it on. And... You'll need a nice theme and a nice starter site is a good way of, of getting started um, and getting a quick website built. So let's have a look at what's available. There's probably the two themes I like are Astra and Ocean. So if you head over to Astra, they've got the starter sites section. I'll put a link in the description. Ocean equally has one called Demos. Um, I'll put a link in the description for that as well. So. Um, they have e-commerce sites and Astra also has e-commerce sites. So you'll notice not all of the e-commerce sites are free. A lot of them are in the agency package, but you do have um, organic store. Custom printing is a great one for print on demand or drop shipping clothing, perhaps. Simply Natural is a, a nice sort of, um, in this example, I use it to sell plants, but you could sell it um, crafts or um, handmade art maybe it'd be a nice theme for that um brand store is a really versatile one as well and then there's artist which would be obviously great for selling art so um those ones are free and um in ocean i think you've got simple um lingerie and store is a really good one and there might be one more um i've got a few of them open here so i think for today I'm going to look a bit more at this one called um, Print. Now, this is a really nice, basic, clean and fast loading site that they can use to sell printed products. So you've got customized mugs, um, T-shirts. You could do really whatever you like. And I think this would be a good example for this video. But like I said, there's other options. This was the simple one where they were selling plants. This was Brand Store where they're selling fashion um, and this is the ocean one where they were selling like men's sort of formal wear and, uh, suits, but this would be nice for like anything that's sort of a bit more high end, such as like watches or maybe something, uh, like shoes perhaps. And then lingerie was on ocean as well. This is like a more feminine, um, thing suitable for, you could use it for other women's fashion as well besides lingerie, but. And then the store is more of a um, ocean store is quite a versatile one. And it's got some really nice um, menu setups as well. You don't get these kind of menus in the Astra free version. So if you like these sort of drop down menus, um, have a look at ocean for your, for your first website. So anyway, I've got a, um, I've got a blank WordPress install here. So let's uh, get to work, head over to our dashboard and let's install one of these starter sites. Okay, the starter site I think we are going to use for this um, demonstration is this Astra Print. So this is a really, um, it's very simple and clean. You could use this for a lot of different projects and um, a site like this will convert, it'll convert just fine, I think. Look at this, when you um, click on one of these products, you go to uh, a product page, a nice simple product page. Like any other e-commerce website, people are going to be pretty comfortable buying things from a site like this and it'll be good for drop shipping it'll be good for print on demand like this looks like a print on demand product already i think i'll talk about that more in future videos but um similarly with these shirts these look like um a designer's put them straight onto t-shirts to sell print on demand so um either drop shipping or print on demand this will work well and it after is fast and it's all um pretty well set up to start with so let's go ahead head to our dashboard 
I think I may already have Astra theme installed here. So let's have a look at our appearance and themes. Um, yeah, I've got Astra, it's already installed. If you don't have Astra, um, you can just go to themes and, and add new, add a new theme. Um, but let's go to our um, starter sites over here. This is where we find our um, Astra print theme. So um, this is lets us check our page builder that we want to use. So um, I always recommend Elementor. Um, even doesn't matter free or pro, you can get away with either in this case. But um, Elementor, or if you just want to stick with a standard WordPress editor, go with Gutenberg. Um, Beaver and Brizzy are both fine as well. Um, the free version is not quite as um, full featured as Elementor. So I'm going to go with Elementor for this one. Um, let's go next. Now here we go. We're going to choose our starter site. So I'm going to try and find that print, Astra print that we talked about earlier. Um, it'll be under e-commerce. And here we can see all the e-commerce starter sites. This is the one we wanted, custom printing. So go ahead and click that and then click import site. So this will take a little bit of time to import. I'm just going to pause it and come back in a second. Okay, now this is all installed. Now the thing I like is you get all the required plugins, um, the customizer settings, um, some demo content and all the widgets, everything's all done in one installation. So it's really quite convenient and a quick way to get started. So let's just go ahead and click uh, view site and see what we've got. So this is exactly um, the demo site. So from here we can start actually customizing it, adding our own content, adding our own products. So uh, the first thing we might do is just have a look at our basic um, settings. So that we've got um, our footer down here. We've got the content is all throughout the page and the header is up here. So um, there's two ways of editing some of the content. So the theme customizer, the Astra theme customizer here, that's going to give you your um, header and footer and the element or page builder is going to give you the ability to change most of the content on the page. So um, let's go ahead and edit with Elementor. So go ahead and make a new tab here. Elementor will load up. And this is where we can change our actual um, page in terms of its content. So I've made videos on this before. It's uh, exactly the same as uh, any other Elementor tutorial I've done, you can go ahead and click in here and change the content. And you can go ahead and click on the images, change images as you like. You'll notice the header is not there and the footer is not there, except for this part of the footer. Um, but you can't actually edit it in Elementor. So um, we'll go into the theme customizer and I'll show you what I mean. So let's go to customize. This is probably the first thing you want to work on when you start customizing your site. Go ahead and click that pencil there for your header. You can change the logo, you can remove the logo, you can put in your site title and display the site title. So I just called it Idea Spot Apparel for this uh, for this demo. And you'll also probably want to change the tagline or just delete the tagline, even though it's not displayed on here. Um, the tagline will still show up on Google search results and things like that. So let's just hit publish. Now, I think the reason our actual title is not showing is because this is a transparent header and it might be using white text on a transparent um, white background. So let's see if we can fix that. Let's go back to transparent header and site title. So here we go. We can select the color. Yeah, like I said, it was white. Let's change it to black. Um, actually, make it more of a gray, a bit softer. Well, what we could do is make it black and, oops, sorry. Make it black, but put a bit of transparency on it. That'll have a nice effect when it scrolls over things. Or if we want to put an image background um, on another page. So let's hit publish. 
So that looks pretty good. Um, like I said, you can replace that once you've designed a nice logo. You could put that logo there, but I'm just going to use a text title for now. Okay, let's have a look at our header menu. So it's pretty basic. I think it's good to keep things fairly simple. Just have products, about contact. This is for your account. For when you're ordering things, you can check on your account. And there's your little cart icon. So um, because WooCommerce was automatically installed with this theme and this starter site, uh, that's all ready to go. So let's have a look at this menu. Um, we don't really want this. What we want is the um, menu and look at the main. Here we are, customizing the main menu. So that menu options are the same as these. So we can add or remove things. So um, let's say we don't want the about page. Um, let's click add items. We can add any page onto the menu that we like. Um, let's say instead of all products, we wanted to have the shop page, we could add the shop page. Or um, if we want to remove the about page, we can go ahead and, and click that and remove it, hit publish. Um, all fairly straightforward to do. And this actually gives us a mobile menu as well automatically. It's going to be the same menu and that's what it will look like on mobile. So that's um, a lot of the design work it has been taken care um, of already. So you don't have to do much actual web design, web development. You can focus on um, putting your content on, making it look right and making your own personal brand. So um, that's our header uh, title and our menu. Um, I think we may be actually able to change this. Let's have a look, if, see if we can do that. Um, it's probably under the actual site identity. Um, maybe under the primary header. Nope. I think we would on a transparent header. Um, Interesting. This is a little bit different from what I'm used to, but so things have moved around a little bit since the last update, but we want to go to header and it's in the primary menu. So um, the last item in the menu is called WooCommerce and that is this little bag. Um, the bag is probably pretty right for what we want to do, but just bear in mind, you can always change it to a customized button um, and link it to wherever you'd like to link it to. You, can, you may even just link that button to your cart if you wanted to have a a different look um, but actually I really think that WooCommerce thing is is a nice thing to have for a shop and it'll actually preview which products are in your cart so that's quite a good functionality um, you can have a search um, icon or you can have customized text or you can put your own um, widget in that position as well so anyway let's just hit publish and let's go ahead and have a look at our footer. So in this case, we've got two footer areas. This section of the footer, um, this custom print store, social icons, this is all done in Elementor, but just this last little bit, that's handled by the Astra theme. Um, we can click there. We've got uh, a copyright with the current year. I think that's fine. And then the site title is over there, but you could put any text you want in either of these positions. Um, if you like, you could put your email address or contact number or something like that, but that's just how you can change those particular things. So that's all good. Um, let's head over to Elementor and see what that's like. So um, in Elementor, we can change all those things, but I really want to change that part of the footer. So we don't actually do it through editing the page in Elementor, we have to go, I'm going to close that and let's get a new copy of the site up here. So edit with Elementor and we'll say global footer. So um, this starter site actually gives you a global footer. Um, that's actually a pro feature. It's pretty unusual to see that feature included in a free starter site, but here we go. We can change any of these things. Now, um, social icons, they've got Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. I think for a fashion website, we'd probably just be concentrating on Instagram and Facebook, honestly. Um, we go ahead and delete LinkedIn. And 
delete Twitter. There we go. And hit update. Those are probably a little bit too small given that we're only going to be using two of them. So um, we can go ahead and go to the style and find the um, actual size. So it's only 12. We can make those about, about 30. Make it a nice round number. Um, the border, I'm not crazy about that border. Let's go with no border. Yeah, that's pretty decent. It's got this little red highlight as you mouse over it. You can control that in the icon hover, I think. See, it's got a, a red color. You can customize it. But um, it's best to stick with um, the design as it is and concentrate on getting your site up and running before you start um, changing little details because you really just want to get up and running, get some results and, um, and get started. So uh, let's hit update. Um, of course... I should mention, I accidentally just moved it there. There we go. Um, I should mention, you have to put the link to your Facebook page and your Instagram page in that link um, position there without the um, hash marker. Um, but that's easy enough to do. So let's go back. This is what we started with, the blank WordPress site. Let's hit refresh. And there we go. We've got our, our starter site. I showed you how to do the headers and footers. Um, I think in our next video, let's work on actually adding products and setting up the payment system. Um, if we were to go to our dashboard, we can see um, we've got WooCommerce all ready to go. And if we click, we might actually have some demonstration products installed. Um, let's have a look at our products here. Yeah, so they've given us some products that we can look at. Um, if we were to click view the product, we can see it's really a very clean design. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And when you add to cart, um, it'll go ahead and put the um, thing into your cart. And this is a really clean little checkout. Go to the, your checkout. Now, um, it'll give you an option for your coupon code if you want to run coupons and all the customer details go in here and you can place the order. So all we have to do to get that working is set up the payment system. So I'm gonna cover that in the next video. We'll cover the payment system when we'll cover adding and changing products, but it's really just a matter of going through this WooCommerce setup wizard um, and that'll get your payments sorted, your shipping ideas, all that stuff. We'll cover that next time. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and remember to click like, click subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.